Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, and the Salt Lake City Regionals for the Pokemon Go Championships were this just weekend, and there's a lot of interest in the how, how to do these show six pick three teams. So what I'm going to do is kind of, I'm just going to go over what ha what happened in the regionals for the teams, and then I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to potentially team build for the championship, and you could do it one multiple ways, and I'm still undecided how I want to do it. But looking at this, I have an idea of what I want in my in my head now. So champion bird power who's again amazing battler she just dominates constantly uh so sableye lickitung metachamp azu uh trevenant galarian stunfisk uh runner up had lickitung metachamp a nine tails azu trevenant galarian stunfisk and then there was a wigglytuff trevenant metachamp uh walrein swampert registeel and then noctowl shadow lapras trevenant uh, Shadow Swampert, Metachamp, and Glaring Stunfisk, and then there was four more in the top eight. Instead of just going over their teams, I'll just throw them on the screen very quickly because, as you'll see, and I will showcase my tweet in one second. Uh, so there's the third team, and then there is the fourth team. So now let's go to my tweet because, so everyone, there is a whole, whole discussion about the quality of play. I'm not even going to get into that drama, but I will get into is. Uh, all I noticed was out of the top eight teams, there were seven Trevenant, five Stung Fisk, and slash in two Registeels, right? So same sort of idea. Uh, six Metachamp, four Swamper, four Zoomerill, and four Lickitung. Such creativity. Not, I meant to say, not blaming the players. I'm blaming the meta. And that's sort of it, right? We have this regional where you can pick from a thousand Pokemon. Not a thousand, but like, yeah, I have thousands of Pokemon realistically. And you got... Seven of the top eight teams have Trevenant. Seven of the top eight teams have a Stunfisk or Registeel. Six of the top eight teams have a Metachamp. Four have a Swampert. Four have a Zoomerill as a water counter. Four have a Lickitung, right? And it's just like, okay, so how do you build teams? Well, right, you can, like, let's just throw these top five in. Trevenant, Stunfisk, Metachamp, right? So so let's go back to our favorite thing, Team Builder, PV Poke. Uh, so we're going to throw in Trevenant. Uh, sorry, I'm going to move this to the side so I can do it. We're going to throw in Trevenant. We're going to throw in Lickitung. We're going to throw in Galarian Stunfisk. We're going to throw in Metacham. Uh, we are going to throw in a Swampert. You could go, uh, uh, again, it, it, they went Swampert or Zoom Roll. It wasn't really on both teams. Um, so there's like the top five, right, that were on the majority of every single team in the regionals and here we go b b a b overall good and why is it uh, you have coverage basically down the board like so there's two ways to build there's actually many ways to build these so show six teams so what you do is basically is a super safe uh team for against the meta so what i could do is uh if i need something else to beat that let's just throw in like an a nine tails as my six right now, just so I get some coverage on that Scrafty there where I'm a bit weak, right? So there we go. How do you build a team for pick six? You go super meta. So let's just go to rankings. Stunfisk is at number one, Trevenant's at number two, Our Registeel's at number three, Swampert's at number four, uh, Metachamp is at number nine, Lickitung's at number 10. Um, and then Sableye is a safe swap, be 22, Netta Queen 17. As these 26, right? So there we go. We have these pick six geniuses picking six of the top 25 meta Pokemon. And again, I, 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 I say that jokingly, like they're obviously not, they're not dumb. Like they're meta for a reason. So if you're gonna build a, a pick six team, show six, pick, show the six, pick the three, the easiest way is just to go top uh, meta Pokemon because they all sort of cover each other's weaknesses down the board, right? You for the main meta, you'll always cover two, and then it's just team building, right? You have um, you have good league it's here in um, so you have Lick Tongue that can be a safe swap, you can have Trevenant to a certain extent that can be a safe swap, you have Stunfist that can be a safe swap on this team, A9 Tails as a good lead, Swampert as a good lead or closer, Meta Champ can kind of fit a lot of builds, you just got to keep it away from, from ghosts, right? So then you just kind of look at your opponent's lineup and say like, okay, how can I balance this? 
why this team is good. It's got super bulk, right? Mad Champ is bulky. Lick Tongue super bulky. Stunfisk is decently bulky. You have hard hitters. Hydro Cannon Swampert. Shadow Ball Trevenant are hard hitters. Earthquake from Stunfisk Curse, right? So you got the bulk. You got the um, like hard hitting moves. You got spam in the Hydro Cannons to draw shields. You have charm pressure here as a fast move if you need to get some fast move pressure and counter as fast move pressure from Meta Champ, right? So there you go. Very meta, very easy, right? So what? So that's one way to build a team. Just go straight meta. Uh, like I said, the second way to build a team is, and what I may do is, okay, if I know Trevenant, Lickitung, let's just throw all six of these into uh, the lead over this analysis here. What am I missing? I'm missing Metacham and I'm missing uh, Glare and Stunfisk. So I want to start with my, so I want to start maybe with my, let's just go Ninetales because you guys know I love Ninetales. Not not if I know how to spell, so I've, I love Ninetales. So I'm going to put in my Shadow Ninetales here. I know already it's going to get lit up by the Swampert. Yep, and I'm going to have some trouble with Stunfisk, right? So now I'm going to say, okay, so what is the best answer for Swampert? I can throw in, I could throw in like a Venusaur as an amazing answer, right? So if I want to do Venusaur, I can throw in Venusaur there. Gets that coverage. Um, weak to Trevenant, right? But that's okay. I can build that. So you can build against the top six that you think you're going to see. So you can move around a lot. Just looking at this list, um, I would also want to put on the team... I don't have a safe swap right now, so I need a safe swap. What's the best safe swap to, that will deal with all these? Well, I could put in a Sableye. Um, I could put in a Sableye, right? Sableye is safe swap here. But the problem is then like you got a Charmer, you're gonna get outpaced by the Swampert, you got the Lickitung as a normal, you got Trevenant, I don't know how you, that's a very, very bait dependent. You can definitely win this, the Trevenant matchup. So like, is that the best for a safe swap or should I go Lickitung as a safe swap? Because Lickitung, isn't going to have the instant losses to, right? You're not going to have the instant losses. You're going to do well against the Trevenant, mirror match here. You're going to out, just out bulk the Swampert. You can out, pay, out bulk sort of the Ninetales. And then the Metachamp does super effective licks, right? So there, and then you can have like an okay matchup here, right? So maybe instead of that, I'm going to go Sableye, uh, Lick Tongue instead of, which is why it's on, like on some of the top teams anyways, right? Because it is a great safe swap. And so you can just build sort of six for that. Is, is one option. So team number one is just going full meta. Team number two is going counter meta. Team number three is, I get out it's, uh, that and just go to an open team builder here. And you can go with balanced teams or unbalanced teams, right? So I, me I mentioned in my PV poke video yesterday, you can go like, you know Altaria and Stunfisk make a great combo down the board. Uh, I know that what other common combos are Swampert and what was a Swampert and Skarmory are a great combo down the board, right? So you just have these balanced pairs that you know work very well together. Um, like the Vergy Verg team had Nidoqueen Umbreon because I get he's Nidoqueen Double Dark. He like I don't know invented it or mastered it or everything. He's, he always uses it. Um, so he brought he brought Nidoqueen Queen and Umbreon, right? So it's just a good pairing that you know work together. And then, so you have coverage down the board. It'll outline some weaknesses. And then I'm like, okay, Trevenant can be a safe swap to a certain extent. So I can put in Trevenant there as a safe swap. So you have these sort of like balanced combos that you just supplement with either safe swaps or covering some weaknesses here. Like if you want, I know that's too many... Uh, I don't want that. That's too many. Do I have any weaknesses to charm on this team yet? Yeah, I have the Altaria, so I don't want to be double weak to charm. Uh, Registeel. It's a lot of a lot of steel there already, so I don't know if I want to do Registeel. Already weak to charm. Walrein? I'm weak to fighting and Stunfisk, but Walrein actually might not be a bad six option right there. So throw in Walrein, and then... Like Walrein can be an okay safe swap too, quite honestly, right? So there we go. You got some pairings here. Alteria, Galleon, Stunfisk, Squamper, Skarmory, and then Trevenant and Walrein who are not 
true safe swaps but can act as safe swaps on certain teams and then you mix and match based on what you're seeing right so you go you go meta you go counter meta you go balanced you can also go unbalanced right i mentioned uh i just mentioned there i did not want to put in a uh registeel because i don't want to be like double weak to like swampert here but why not go registeel um like an abb style team so if i'm going to be weak to swampert i'm going to need to grass like trevenant in the front right or venus or if you want to be not as meta right so now i have um, yep there's your double weakness swamper and there's your hard defeat of swampert so you can like put in pokemon to do like unbalanced teams like abb um and then you can decide Okay, if I have this ABB lineup, do I want to supplement it with uh, more balanced save swaps? Like, do I want to just do like four, like a couple save swaps here? Do I want to do more, more answers to Swampert, right? Do I want to put in like an Altaria again? Because I know that if a Swampert comes out or a Fighter comes out, Altaria is a nice answer to that. And I'm not weak to Charm yet, right? So there you get some coverage on the board there. So you can go sort of unbalanced that way. And then you can either, like I said, put in more safe swaps, cover your weaknesses in the back here. You're still kind of weak to like Diggersby as a ground. So maybe I do need a fighter on this team. And then you kind of supplement like that. Like, and that's how I would kind of finish this team is okay. You can look at like what you're weak to. You can also look at like, what do I, like I can tell right now, like a glaring, not a, uh, a Scrafty is going to like light up these first three, right? So, okay, I want to want to beat a Scrafty. Do I want to beat it with a Charmer, like A9Tails? Or do I want to have beat it with a Fighter, like Metachamp, which is why Metachamp is on 7 out of 8 teams, right? So those are how you can mix and match different teams. And then you can also just, uh, once you cut your 6 here, you just look at the matchups to see, like, okay, if I'm going to be weak here, and let's just throw in Metachamp. And then I, I was about to say, I want to do nine tails, but I can't do nine tails with this team. Uh, and then look at that, like Trevenant is going to be your biggest weakness, but you have like, yeah, I'm going to get a Trevenant answer because it's on so many teams here. So what's the biggest Trevenant answer? Like time to bomb snow. I'm already double week to fighting, double week to fighting already. So I don't want to do any of these. Yeah. So I guess I'll just put it. Well, this is all, all these, I, every single one of these is weak to fighting. So again, that's why you could do like lick tongue or you can do Tropius, how am I, to I think there's not a ton of fire and I've got, mm, I'm four weak to fire though. So that's gonna cause some problems. So I can't do Tropius, but a flyer or, uh, is there any flyer that's not on here? Yeah, so anyways, I'm just trying to pull something out here, but I guess Lickitung is the best answer even though you're super weak to counter now. Right, so that is how you would build a team, and then you can kind of mix and match that. What it doesn't do is if like, so again, you can you can, it, these are kind of just going like well rounded against the meta. Like, what if someone brings in something completely from left field, and I know that someone brought in like an Ente Ente, the fire legendary Pokemon, right? So it's kind of just like the problem with these is like you're you're always going to obviously have some glaring weakness on your team right there's just nothing you can not not a glaring weakness but something that you'll never have just like perfect coverage you'll have coverage but you won't have you'll always have at least one pokemon on their team that's going to be probably one to two of your pokemon right and that's where it then gets into the how do you how do you build the team of three and battle it out right and it, and i can't explain that here because it just comes down to uh, knowing your opponent and what they have and stuff like that. So actually, why don't I just go, even though I went 2-1, let me actually see if I can bring up Sylph because I did, so I went 2-1, but the game three was a redo and then I lost the third. But for the most part, it was an even matchup. Um, let me go to my currently undefeated 5-0, so under look hammerheads team right so here is let me just make that bigger so you guys can see the teams so this was my oh, this was my sylph matchup this week um 
again, I said 2-1 loss, which I did lose the redo of the third game, so technically it's true, but I did go 2-1 before that. Uh, before we had to redo the third game. So you look at the teams. So I had these three, and uh, sorry, I had these six, and he had these six. So my first analysis of his team was, okay, double is a problem for my team because I'm weak to fighting. I'm weak to the fight, the fighting here. I'm weak to the fighting here, and I'm weak to the payback here, and I'm weak to the payback here. And I'm just gonna get, I get outpaced, not outpaced, but yeah, in the, in like the two shield, you do get outpaced on the beetle. So I'm like, I know double is coming every single time. Um, so what I did was, okay, I know it's coming every single time, but also look at this team: Haunter, weak to dark; Hypno, weak to dark; Frostlass, weak to dark. So I knew that my Eradicate had to come every single time. And I, I, I debated Bite versus Quick Attack. I ended up going Quick Attack because they had their own Eradicate. I don't want to go Bite versus their Eradicate. So I went Quick Attack because you're still going to win these two matches fine. It's a little trickier in this one. So my first team was, and then I'm like, okay, Beedrill is a nice option for their Eradicate. And if you bait here against the Frostlass and land the Drill Run, you can win there. And then it does like real resistance that counters here. Right, so the double kick, sorry, the fighting move here. So it's a nice option. So I went Beedrill, Radicate, and I'm like, I need a third. So I went Frostlass. So in the first game, I led Frostlass, and they came in with Haunter. And then the game was over because I'm weak to Haunter here, and I'm weak to Haunter on my Beedrill. Um, and then I had double in the back with a Radicate. I'm like, okay, that's not surprising. I expected a Radicate, and I expected double coming constantly. But Haunter caught me off game one. So in game two, what I did was I went. Um, I got rid of the Frost Ass because I expected the Hunter. They just won game one with that team. I expected them to run it back because Hunter, Hunter does have, outside of these two, outside of Munchlax and Eradicate, has really good matchups against these four. So I'm like, okay, I expect Hunter to come in for game two. So what I did was I put in my Munchlax Eradicate in the back. So I had two answers to Hunter. Led Beedrill, then a leading double, came in with, I think that Hunter and Eradicate, and I had good alignment in the back, so I won game two. And game three, they led the Haunter and I led my Eradicate. So I had them fully hard countered. They lagged. I won the match. They lagged. So we had to redo it. And then I totally messed up game the redo of game three. So they technically won 2 1, but it should have been 2 1 for me. But that was just poor plan on my part, the, the redo match. Um, so that is how you lug at your opponent and build against what they have so just think about this actually let's just see if i can go into the open great league with my with my uh right so here is an example of an open great league team that uh their team here and again pokemon that you see constantly like skarmory you don't see skarmory time but glaring stemfisk swampert lickitung and same on our side registeel swampert so you're always going to see so not that you'll always see the same meta but you're gonna often gonna see a lot of the meta it's like, okay, what do they have here? Um, and and just, again, this is what I'm talking about. You'll never have just straight hard counts. So like the Shadow Ninetales was nice, because, right? Shadow, the Ninetales will do well against the Skarmory. It'll do well against the Venusaur. It can okay against the Glaring Stunfisk if you land an overheat on the Lick Tongue, you're good, right? So Skarm so Ninetales should come a lot. But if you're going to come with Ninetales and you see Swampert, you're screwed, right? So you need two covers for and this Tokopex because that's got, it's half water. So you need two answers for these two. So I would go with Cresselia as one answer, and then I would go mirror match. I think he did go Swampert as the other, right? Because this is, you mirror the Swampert here, you're going to beat the Tokopex here. You still do well against the Clarion Stenfist, which will cause a bit of trouble here. And then if you're going to get lit up by the Venusaur, who cares? You got a balance line in Ninetales in the back, and Cresselia was running Future Sight, so you had some options there. So that is how you need to think about uh, the actual execution of these six. So the first thing you always need to do is, what six do I want to run? I would run a mixture of, um, I like this, like I still want to build my team around nine tails. Like, cause I love nine tails. I know Swampert's going to be there though. Like I know if, if, if I know that, if I know this is a meta, Trevenant, Stunfisk, Metachamp, Swampert, Azumarill, Lickitung. I'm like, I want to run nine tails because I am so happy with nine tails. I love, um, I love using nine tails. I want to use. I want to use it. So I know, good. I'll have a good match against Travis. The Stunfisk. If they have Stunfisk, I'm going to lose. If they have Registeel, I'll probably win. Metachamp, you just get a bulk tail pace. Swampert, you're just going to get beat up a lot. 
So right now I'm like, okay, I need two answers for, I need a Champ Swampert answer. I need a Lickitung answer because you're just going to get outboxed. I need an Azumarill answer you're going to get destroyed there. So I, when I'm going to start building a team, I'm going to start need to build it for these four. So get your team of six. Um, and then think about the different lineups, like run through some sort of lineups in your head. Okay, if I see... If I see these six core, what am I going to run against? If I see uh, what's something not on here that is meta, like the go against like the topic, go against like Virgie Virgie's Nidic Queen Umbreon. Like, what am I going to do against Nidic Queen Umbreon with this team? Try and figure out like what lineups you'll use. Do I have a glaring weakness? Yes or no? Then I do need to adjust my team before we get there. And then when you're in the moment, look at their team. Like, what could they potentially run? What am I going to run? Uh, what works? What doesn't work? So that is how you do pick six. Show six, pick three. Uh, so if you want to do a regional or you want to do self, like we do self every month, monthly tournaments, and then we're in this surprisingly dominating run of self factions. <laughs> like when I say surprising dominate, I think our team in four seasons is now 26 and two as a faction team. And lot, like two weeks ago, we beat a team that everyone but one person picked to beat us. So knock on wood we keep running because we're doing really really well not no thanks to me this season but thanks to my teammates who are carrying my ass this season so um that's it anyways I'm at, at this point i'm rambling so thanks for watching let me know if you have any other comments about the format or how you how you team build or just anything else and i will see you tomorrow's video i did a sort of fun self um challenge i'll call it and basically what it was is i was down at like 2500 and i was and i was like i'm gonna do gbl teams and if i win i keep the team the same if i lose i use a new team so i think i got like five or six teams coming tomorrow and basically what will happen was it'll i'll go over like here are the six teams on the left here are a couple battles here's like a win and a loss and then I'll tell you, I'll let you guys kind of guess how well I did with each of the teams. And then I'll tell you, like, this is actually how well I did with each of these teams. So I think that'll be fine for tomorrow and it'll give people plenty of teams to look at. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.